When you build an aircraft carrier, you are constructing a floating house for more than 5,000 people that generates its own power and provides everything necessary, as well as an airport for 70-plus aircraft. An aircraft carrier is an 80-yard tall, 80-yard wide, and approximately 350-yard long structure composed entirely of hardened metal. Building an airport and this are really not comparable because although both involve planes taking off and landing, that is where the similarities end. Because each level differs from the ones above and below in terms of size, design, and function, it cannot be compared to building a skyscraper with comparable square footage. Building and bringing them into full operation takes years for both skyscrapers and airports. But an aircraft carrier needs to be able to do far more than just that. In short, you're not just building a ship, you're crafting a moving island, a bustling airport, and a self-sustaining city, all rolled into one. And at its heart lies a technological marvel, a nuclear power plant capable of generating enough electricity to power a small town. Normally, constructing a carrier can take many years or may take 10 to 12 years. Designing a new class of carrier will take a lot longer than building replacement ships for the first in the class. The duration required to construct an aircraft carrier is contingent upon several factors. Here are a few of these elements. Crafting a new aircraft carrier involves a lot of creativity and adapting to new ideas. Coming up with new designs and equipment can take a long time. Just imagine trying to fit in brand new technology into the ship's plan. It's a process that needs a lot of care and time. For example, think about the Ford-class carriers. They have these cool new catapults that work with magnets instead of steam. And they also have these special gears to help stop the planes when they land. These inventions were tricky at first, but now they're changing how we build ships. And as technology gets better and the rules change, shipbuilders have to make lots of changes too. Every new gadget they add during construction makes things more complicated and takes more time. Now let's talk about the three main steps in building an aircraft carrier. First, they start by laying down the ship. It's like the ship's birthday when they put the first piece of metal in place. Long ago, you could see the bottom of the ship from outside, but now it's all hidden inside. Next, they launch the ship into the water. It's a big celebration, kind of like when you launch a new boat or have a big party to show off the ship. Finally, the ship is ready to work when it's commissioned. But before that, they have to do some tests in the sea to make sure everything works right. These tests help fix any problems before the ship starts its job. Think about the USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78. It took a whopping eight years to go from an idea to a real ship. That's because they had to figure out how to use all the latest stuff in it. So, building an aircraft carrier isn't just about making a ship. It's a blend of old traditions and new ideas that make sure our Navy stays the best in the world. Let's take a look at some of the biggest aircraft carriers in the world and the fascinating stories behind their construction. First up, we have the Gerald R. Ford class, which is like the king of the sea, boasting a whopping 100,000 tons of displacement. The USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78. The first ship of this class was delivered to the U.S. Navy in May 2017. But did you know that the journey to build this beast began way back in 2005? It took the shipbuilders a solid eight years to piece together this incredible floating fortress from laying down its keel in 2009 to its majestic launch in 2013. Next, let's talk about the Nimitz class, which has been ruling the waves since the 1970s. These supercarriers, weighing in at 97,000 tons, are like the workhorses of the Navy. The first ship of this class set sail in May 1975 after a six-year construction journey that started in 2003. Imagine the sweat and hard work that went into crafting these giants of the sea. Now, let's sail across the pond to meet the Queen Elizabeth class, the pride of the Royal Navy. These magnificent carriers, with a displacement of 65,000 tons, are a symbol of British maritime power. The HMS Queen Elizabeth, the first of her class, embarked on her sea trials in June 2017 after a decade-long construction saga that began in 2007. 
It's incredible to think about the dedication and craftsmanship that went into building these majestic ships. Turning our gaze eastward, we encounter the Admiral Kuznetsov class, the pride of the Russian Navy. With a displacement of 58,599 tons, these carriers are a force to be reckoned with. The Admiral Kuznetsov itself took just two years to build, from 1983 to 1985, showcasing the Soviet Union's formidable shipbuilding prowess. Last, but not least, we have the Liaoning, the first aircraft carrier of the Chinese Navy. Originally built in Ukraine and later acquired by China, this 58,599-ton vessel took just three years to construct from 1985 to 1988. It's a testament to the rapid advancements in shipbuilding technology during that era. So, as we reflect on the incredible stories behind these mighty aircraft carriers, one thing becomes clear. The seas are filled with marvels of engineering and human ingenuity, and who knows? With technology advancing at lightning speed, perhaps one day we'll see aircraft carriers being built in record time, making waves in the blink of an eye. Aircraft carriers are massive floating fortresses that serve as mobile airports and homes for thousands of sailors. The construction of these behemoths is a complex process that involves meticulous planning and engineering. Factors like new designs and equipment, technological advancements, and government demands can influence the construction timeline. We explored some of the world's largest aircraft carriers, such as the Gerald R. Ford class, Nimitz class, Queen Elizabeth class, Admiral Kuznetsov class, and Liaoning, each with its own unique construction story. Despite the challenges, advancements in technology may eventually lead to shorter construction times for these incredible vessels. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.